Hi. You know, in, instead of exposing the evil of Islam, you know, the subjugation of women, the forcing non Muslims to pay pay a high tax, thanks maybe Quran nine, one through five, and Quran nine twenty nine. Or how Islam or the Quran threatens Muslims with a painful doom if they don't kill and be killed in the cause of Allah. Maybe Quran nine, 111, 38 and thirty nine. Uh, or how uh, there's Quran four thirty four that allows Muslim men to bait to beat women and it doesn't say lightly. And in that scripture it doesn't even say to use a a, a toothpick or a toothbrush. And since and since there's Quran sixty five four, which uh, allows a Muslim to marry to, to to divorce a girl who hasn't had a period yet, well, you know, so I've noticed no one really seems to care about that. No one seems to care that Muhammad married a six year old and parked her when she was nine. No one seems to care that Muhammad uh, allowed for slavery with Quran four twenty four and two one seven uh, one seventy eight. Uh, Quran 2, for no one seems to care with that it says in Quran 2, 49, for been to our married women, except who, those whom your right hand can, be, can, uh, can uh, possess, you know, your slave. No one seems to care about Quran 2, 178, that says the slave for the slave. If someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave, you know. No one seems to care about uh, Quran 3, 28, which basically is not a threat to Muslims by non-Muslims, it's a it's all a threatening Muslims if they truly if a Muslim truly takes me as his friend or helper you know in other words he's not he's not cut off from Allah he's not attacked by Allah if he doesn't if he he does if he only if if oh, if he only acts like he's my friend but you know something no one cares about the taqiyya and the uh, ability the allowance to lie in Islam I think. Muslims do care though is the rationality they don't care about the evil allowance that Allah allows on on non-muslims because there's Quran 98 6 which tells non-muslim which tells tells Muslims that non-muslims are the worst of creation the worst of be the worst of creatures who are supposed to be in hell forever so instead what I think we should do is focus on what the Quran blew blew it on when it comes to science and uh, uh, and what the what the hadith blew it on, you know, uh, which it would be like uh, say Quran thirty six forty through forty three, which uh, infers that the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah, which according to Al Tabari hadith, Muhammad says is not a boat but actually a chariot that the sun and moon travel in, you know. We could also talk about how Muhammad thought that or the Quran pre preached how mountains were not pushed up but placed down. By Allah, as pegs to stabilize the earth to keep down earthquakes, which you find out in Al Tabari Hadith, Muhammad believed was due to the earth being spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun. And and that when the Quran says that the moon uh, that the, the 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 sun cannot catch up to the moon, <laughs> that's a lie because Muhammad didn't know how uh, a solar eclipse occurs. Instead, he thought a solar eclipse occurred. By the earth, by the sun falling out of its chariot, you know. Uh, that's into the sea, into a sea of water that was held over. That is, you know, he believes held over heads by the power of Allah, that not a drop should fall. And that the earth, again, spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun. I mean, really, if we can po po point these things out, I think it'd be far better than talking about how Mo, how how the Quran sixty five four allows. Uh, a Muslim to divorce a girl who hasn't had a period yet, you know, or how Muhammad parked a, 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 a nine-year-old, you know, or how uh, Muhammad uh, put uh, fire on this Jewish guy's chest, burned him to near death to find out where he was hiding uh, his money, or uh, how he how Muhammad pulled an old lady apart named Um Kerfa because she didn't like how he slaughtered her town, or how in Sunan Abu Dawud two twenty fifty, uh, Muhammad. Uh, got an ex exaltation from uh, Allah that uh, with uh, that his companions could have sex with the uh, the married women they captured in the presence of their husbands or unbelievers, according according, according to Sunan Abu Dawud two twenty fifty. I mean, really, Muslims don't care about that because in their eyes we're evil thanks to Quran ninety eight six, 
which again says we are the worst of creatures. So instead, I think we should focus on how the Quran blew it with science, you know? How Muhammad believed that if a if if the woman uh discharged sperm first during sex, it would be a girl, you know? And if you discharge sperm during sex, it'd be a boy, you know, things like that. Or how the bones of a fetus form first, or how sperm doesn't come from the uh, testicles, but from between the ribs and backbone, where your heart is, you know, things like that. You know, let them know about Quran 1094, which tells Muslims to come to those who've been reading the before scriptures, even which are which is the Bible, and all Muslims I know believe only the Quran is not corrupted, you know. Yeah, so. Let them know things like that, of how the Quran confirms the before scriptures, the Bible, even though all Muslims believe the, Quran, the Bible is corrupted. If we can let them know things like that, I think it would be create more doubt in that Muslim than letting them know about the evil that all allows a Muslim to do to non-Muslims by 